Good day guys, I'm Darwin Nagato. Today, we're talking about how to read a nautical chart. Nautical chart are an important navigational tool, even when you're familiar with the waterway. A nautical chart helps you figure out which way to go, how deep the water, and the location of harbor. You will also know about underway obstruction that may not be visible in over, overhead bridge and power lines that could get in your way even if you have an onboard navigational system. Chart reading is a skill you need to know before going out onto the water. Use the scale indicator to the track distance on a chart. Scale are expressed as a rotation and different from map to map. The scale printed in the upper right corner of the map will look something like 1 in 100,000, a rotation of 1 in 10,000 indicates that every 1 in 2.5 cm. The map equals 10,000 in 25,000 cm in the real world. Chart with the smaller scales provide an up close view de depicting more area details and markers. If you're familiar with the land map, the scale works the same way there. A harbor chart is an example of a smallest scale chart. Navigators need a close view of the harbor with all the obstructions and other details. Large chart show land and waterways but few additional details. Second chart, find the unit of measurement used to indicate water depth. Look in the upper right corner of the map. Near the scale, you will see the unit of measure printed in big letters. You need to know this because chart use all sorts of different measurement. Your chart could include feet, fathoms, or meters. In the US, chart generally use feet or fathoms. However, the nautical ocean, oceanic and the atmospheric administration or NOAA has begun converting its charts to meters for the sake of international consistency. Third chart, read the chart number to figure out the water lowest dip. The black numbers printed on the chart represent water dip. Each number indicates the mean lower low water or MLLW in an area. This is the average water depth at low tide. So the most of the time, the water is deeper than what you see on the chart. If you see a negative number, that means the water depth in the area is typically less than what is listed on the chart. The fourth chart is multiply fathoms by 6 to measure depth by feet. Numbers written in fathoms have a unique look to them. So they are easy to spot. A fathoms listen often consistent of a pair of numbers. The first number indicates the number of fathoms. The second number, which will be a small subs subscript, is the number of additional feet. For example, a listen of 0 and 3 means a dip of fathoms 3 feet. A listen of a, a listening of 3 and 2 means 3 fathoms and 2 feet or 20 feet total. Pip chart is multiply meter measurement by 3 to convert them to feet. For informity and simplicity, many modern charts use meters. This can be true to understand if you're used to measurement. In feet or fathoms, multiplying by 3 is a quick way to go rel relatively accurate estimate of the water depth. For example, multiply a listing of 6 meters by 3 to estimate it as being at least 18. 18 feet deep. The actual deep is a 6 meters and 20 feet. So it's in completely accurate but it, it's helpful for avoiding shallow area. If the deep are listed in feet, you can also divide them by 3 to quickly convert them to meters. And that's all, thank you.